What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the controversy regarding Scream, all these different actors, actresses coming out, talking about uh, returning characters, right? When they're clearly dead or maybe maybe partially dead, however you want to look at it. Um, obviously, I chose uh, Parker Posey here. Obviously, she was the most recent person to kind of suggest basically a multiverse. I think David Arquette kind of did it too, but I think he was being very, very joking about it. I think she was too, but we have heard like the whole multiverse like an alternate dimension thing but this is like just a long string of people right so she's the most recent but like right before her we had drew barrymore that got really memed upon um on twitter suggesting that with good writing casey becker could be alive somehow i don't know if she saw what that character looked like um last we saw her but i'm pretty sure she's gone uh but you know obviously you even have matthew lillard with Stu, emma roberts you know with jill it's not new, but it's certain. I mean, I feel like it's kind of speeding up. The David Arquette thing, I think, really came from his death, right? So Dewey's death and, you know, how, how could you ever get this guy back? Well, ultimately, you need to make like a multiverse thing. And then all of a sudden, you know, Drew and Parker kind of almost back to back doing outlandish things. So um, I guess let's work backwards. So like Parker Posey or, you know, uh, Jennifer here. I didn't love her character. Um, I, it's pretty controversial, I feel like. I've seen when she suggested this. I feel like there's two different camps, or I will try to separate them into kind of two different groups. So there's one group, and I, I'm going to you know, have my opinion on both as well. There's one group that just says yes or no, right? So uh, no, she, she shouldn't ever come back. My opinion with all of these characters, to a degree, I suppose, is that none of them should return. Now, like Emma Roberts, Jill, if you wanted to do something with her, with like Kirby, like a flashback, I think you you honestly kind of had that opportunity in Scream 6 and you went right by it. Um, not for like better or worse, right? Like a, I don't know if it would have helped. I don't know if it would have hurt it, kind of been like jarring or whatever, but it was definitely there for you to try it if you wanted to and you didn't do it. So, I, you know, I feel like Jill is gone for good because the only way she'd come back is through that. Obviously, the Stu stuff, and we've talked about that quite a bit on the channel. The Casey Becker thing, it's like, oh my dear God, like she's absolutely dead. They absolutely shouldn't come back, especially in some of the ways that these people are suggesting that they should. For the simple fact that I do think that kind of breaks Scream. Uh, you know, Scream as we've talked about me not watching too many other like horror franchises and stuff, but Scream has always stood out because it's it's grounded in a way, right? It's very meta, it's very aware, it's got its comedy, it's got, you know, it's got, you have to kind of give it some things, obviously sometimes with like the size of Ghostface uh, compared to the actual person under the mask, and there's things you have to give to the movie in order to allow it to kind of like be real, right? You gotta give some, but you don't have to give all too much. I'd say it's one of the more grounded things films if you start bringing characters from the multiverse or bad and that, that's why like I, I try to not take these things all that seriously because i think it's just so dumb most of it is just so dumb um there's at like why to throw out the suggestion of you know a, a multiverse or you know parker posey another dimension i think she said it was a dimension now again i don't know how serious she was being probably not all that much right and her as a character, I guess, wave two, right? So so the first group of people, yes or no. She should come back, she shouldn't, or all these characters should or shouldn't. Then there's, like, the judging on the character themselves. I don't think she, like, massively helped Scream 3. I have back and forth thoughts of Scream 3 just in general. Um, I rewatched it just a few months ago. I actually really like it. Like, like generally, I really like Scream 3. I think it's got some incredible moments, uh, some incredible characters, not necessarily her. I've never been too much of a fan of Jennifer just as a character. Um, I think it's mainly because there's just so much kind of put on her, and it's not on, like, the core. I mean, the core is there, and they have plenty to do as well, but there's a lot on her, and she doesn't... I don't think she really holds up to it all that well. Her The comedy aspect of her is kind of hit or miss. I know some people really lean into it and really like it, and that's fine. I wouldn't say I, like, absolutely despise it. I actually would say I liked it more re-watching it just, like, a month or two ago. I liked it way more than the last couple of times I watched it before then. So I think I just go through kind of waves of if I appreciate or if I like it versus if I don't. But this is not a character that needs to return, right? None of these characters, I think, generally are characters that need to return. If, if them as a movie makes the decision to do it, and it, like, ranges what I'm talking about, right? Like, I don't think anybody's too, too disappointed with her 
being dead and like not being able to be brought back. I guess I'm talking more like when you make a decision to kill Randy or you make it and that's, you know, a different era, different writer, different director, all that jazz. When you make a decision to kill Dewey, when you kill, uh, make a decision to kill like Annika in, in Scream 6, like when you kill anybody off in these films, you are making that decision that the time you have to play around with them is only up until that point. And then when that point's done, that's on you. The death could be controversial. It could be a good decision, bad decision. People may like it, not like it, you know, whatever. But like, that's the choice. And that's a choice they make. You, you don't reverse that. There's some universes or franchises or whatever you want to say where death really isn't permanent. You can think of like Marvel, uh, Star Wars, maybe to an extent, but you know, kind of back and forth. Fast and Furious is actually one really where death isn't too, too permanent either. Uh, and those are decisions that they make and they either work for those franchises or not. It definitely would not work, you know, for Scream. So, you know, honestly, I don't think she's a character that would really work it's like from a different era it's not even just like a different era but also like a different era of scream i literally just don't think uh, jennifer fits in like current day stuff and then the rest of them again some of them are just kind of nuts but like the drew barrymore thing that's kind of just insane david arquette i think more jokingly and more also kind of just leaning into being sad about you know being dead Parker, I don't know, like she, maybe it's just a question that people always want to ask her, like, would you ever return? And then the rest of them, you know, like Emma Roberts, Jill. Again, I, I think um, maybe, like, as you get further removed, flashbacks or hallucinations, obviously, as you did with Billy, they become more available, where, like, it's possible you could do them. But it also depends on, I, I guess, like, the role they play, where it's like, Billy is so important, you know, and he's so uh, integral to scream so is Stu, and Stu hasn't gotten you know the same uh, treatment maybe one day he will we don't know but like billy i think deserves or it makes sense you can rationalize why it happens i think jill one day especially as long as you keep kirby there i think it's never fully gone the idea that she because she already kind of went through like this little mini arc in scream six of kind of reminiscing about the past with charlie and with jill so I think you could do stuff. I don't know if it would make 100% sense or, again, if it felt jarring or stuff, but it, I think it'll always be there as long as you have Kirby. You have to have something that, like, connects it. And, I mean, like, I guess Gail, like, Gail connects to Jennifer, but not too much. Haven't they talked about Parker Posey that if they wanted to bring back a character, it would be Stu and it would be her? So, like, those are, like, their top two. So, it's not like, I guess, the interest isn't there. Maybe that scares me that they would actually consider doing it. I guess one thing working for her is really all the deaths in Scream 3, except for Roman and maybe like Cotton, right? Some of them, especially like middle on, they're not, they're like one or two stabs. Like there are very, very few uh, injuries done to these people. That, in fact, and we've talked about this before jokingly, the attacks that are done, and I, you could throw Jennifer in, I, I think, easily. The attacks done on these characters in Scream 3 anybody makes it in scream six in fact if you did that in scream six you would say so what so you so annika got a knife shoved in her and like tore up half of her body she was still able to it took a ladder fall in order to take her out chad you know has been stabbed 55 times like all that like these characters are fine whereas these characters took two or three hits and you know they're gone so Again, different era, different era. You really, I don't think you can necessarily go back to that kind of stuff. So just thought I'd throw this together. I thought this was a pretty, int obviously it's a thing that's going around. Um, there's conversation of like how much she hurt or helped Scream 3. Again, I, I think kind of right down the middle, I think she helps it sometimes and she hurts it at others. She's not my favorite character. She's not, I think, a great character in Scream 3. Um, but Scream 3 is towards the bottom of my list anyway in terms of my personal favorites. So that's my opinion on that. And for the love of God, leave these characters. Like, don't get any funny ideas. I know these people, uh, they want to rejoin the franchise, whatever. If it makes sense, you can do it. Drew Barrymore, no, <laughs> like it's just literally impossible. Some of them make a little bit more sense than others. Some of them you can do flashbacks or hallucinations, and that's where I stand on that issue. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you're subscribed, bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.